Yo, what's going on guys? DSR or Josh here, and uh, we're bringing you guys an unboxing video of this new keyboard that I just got in the mail today. It's a pretty sick keyboard from what I've seen online and all the reviews and stuff. And uh, so I'm going to do a unboxing and then review. I'm going to use it for a little while, and uh, then I'm going to do a review on it once I, after I use it for like a few hours, I guess. Oh, maybe it's not that big. Wow, maybe it's just a long one. Shit. <laughs> oh, oh, it's still really big. Holy shit. That's, that's pretty big, not gonna lie. box, uh, this is the front of the box, and the back of the box, just showing us what, what we got here, uh, it looks really awesome. Online it didn't look that cool, but I just liked it because it's a mechanical keyboard, and it's a uh, backlit, so I really like that, that's the main thing that I was looking for, and it has a, looks like it has eight macro keys. Uh, with three different profiles, so it comes out to be 24 macro keys. And it's just really sick so far from what I've seen. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's open it up. Got some like GX gaming stickers on it. So right now we just got some of uh, which looks like the GUI instructions and stuff like that. I got a little piece of uh, holy shit, this keyboard is huge. Just got a little piece of cardboard with the GUI and face and stuff like that. Uh, I just said GUI and face. Yeah you did. Alright, so inside of the box, obviously we got the keyboard. Uh, I think this is a 10 foot or a. a it's either 10 or a 5 foot, I forget. But it's a, a braided cable. I got that one. That's the box. Uh, it's a really nice braided cable. Uh, this is so you don't get kinks in it and stuff like that. It's really nice and then it looks like you got an instruction manual right here. And then the, uh, the install disk right here. Okay. Most of the break cables that you get from like a controllers and stuff like that, like my razor saber to kind of braided cable. It was like really hard. This one's actually a soft braided cable. It's really nice. Uh, that one's like, it's like nails on a chalkboard so you like it rubs together, but these ones are really nice. Okay. It's a really nice design. This is the keyboard right here. It's got the uh, macro. Got the different profiles. It doesn't seem like it's very mechanical to me, but it's not. But still, it's really nice. It's backlit. And then, backlit keys has three different sections. This section, this section, and this section. In all different colors. It's got the GX Gaming logo. And a 
this would be like a odds playing or uh, playing down my like bad This is the uh, macro report key, so you can like uh, record the macros. I'm not too sure how to use that yet, but uh, Oz is cool on the space key. It has the little GX gaming logo on it. But yeah, this is a really nice keyboard from what I've seen so far. The, the font on the letters is really nice too. It's just all around really nice keyboard. And then of course, on the back we have the uh, kickstand things. And it's <laughs> so if you want your keyboard flush on the surface, you can have it down and you want it tight and slow down to the side, I guess. Have it up. <laughs> and then this is cool too, you can have it like, see the spots that you want the keyboard to or the uh, cord to go out of. So, because mine, all my cords are like tucked underneath. And I have to turn my keyboard and like mix my keyboard up a little bit, it rocks around. But um, that's going to be really helpful for me. It's really awesome. And yeah, so I guess we'll uh, get into the review after a few hours of using it and playing it a little bit. So yeah, catch you guys there. What is going on guys? I'm back with the review on the GX Gaming Keyboard. Uh, I'll have the full name in the description and part of the name in the title, I guess. Um, but this, honestly, is a really nice keyboard. Uh, first impressions, uh, I really like the keyboard. Uh, I have it in default colors right now because I just think the default colors on it look nice, the backlit colors on the keys look really nice, so I'll show you guys in a second here, but um, I just wanted to say that I really like this keyboard, if, if you're looking for a keyboard, and uh, I thought it was mechanical, but it's not, it's just backlit, there's mechanical switches at the top, which I'll show you in a second here, but um, if you're looking for a backlit keyboard, definitely get this one, and if you're looking for a... Uh, Macro keys! Alright. <laughs> if you're looking for a keyboard with macro keys, then definitely get this keyboard. Uh, the macro keys are really nice. You can just like reach off to your left and hit, hit it with your pinky or whatever. Uh, it's kind of difficult with small hands. I have really small hands, so it's kind of difficult for me, but um, I still get it to work. Um, they were giving me some problems yesterday. Um, it was like I programmed it to zoom in on my or zoom in my gun on uh, the crafting grid. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a Minecraft uh, Minecraft mod pack for like the Walking Dead kind of. And uh, there's guns in it, you can zoom in. But I programmed that, and I macroed that so it zoom in my gun so I can like shoot easier, zoom in easier, I guess. But that didn't work out, so I had to just uh, macro it to a different key. Or I had to uh, program. The zoom button to a different key on the keyboard. It was a difficult process. But, um, anyways, you guys probably want to see the keyboard now. So, uh, I'll show you guys the keyboard. Alright, you guys. So, this is the keyboard. I still get it with the uh, default backlit colors, like I was saying. Uh, the red, green, blue is how it comes. Uh, it's really nice keyboard. I really like it. Uh, how it. Here, I'll turn off the lights. Give me some. I guess so. This is really cool. I like how this turns out when I'm just playing in the dark. You can uh, press these up here. These are actually the mechanical. Here, I'll show you guys in a second. But you can press this up here. Turn the lights off. 33%, 66%, 100%. So it's really nice. I'm gonna turn the lights back on. Alrighty, so like I was saying, 
there's uh, six keys up here that these are the mechanical keys that I was looking at it's kind of annoying that I they kind of false advertised you know uh, I thought these would be mechanical these keys but they're not it's just these keys you can hear the difference You can definitely hear the difference. Uh, let's. Turn that back up and I accidentally clicked a few buttons. But yeah. <laughs> Alright, so. And then these aren't even mechanical. So. It's kind of annoying. I really thought I was getting a mechanical keyboard. None of the keys are mechanical except for these six up here. These on the side aren't mechanical. It was, it's kind of annoying that uh, they kind of false advertised with that. But if you're definitely look, if you're looking for a keyboard for just keys, this is a really nice keyboard, you know. Or if you're looking for a keyboard with backlit keys and not mechanical then this is a good keyboard it has really nice hand rest right here uh, it's let me get my control freaks out of the way uh, it's like really nice cuz you know you're playing and this is how I have my hand when I'm playing Minecraft I got it on W A shift and E and space the most used keyboard or keys in Minecraft. So, and then I, I was gonna macro this to escape, so I can just pause really easily. And I had this macro to uh, zoom in my sniper scope, so I can zoom in and shoot with my mouse. And but it's all good. Um, that didn't work out too well. Oh geez, I opened a lot of stuff on my keyboard. Because uh, I actually have. It's cool because you can macro these to like open up programs. So I have like, G8. Let's see. I'll press G8 and it opens up the Technic Launcher for Minecraft. I'll have to sign in because I accidentally messed up. But it's weird because it hits it a few times. Like, hit it once. And it opens three of them. So I need to figure out how to fix that. I'm sure there's a way. But, um... Yeah, so... My overall thoughts on this keyboard, I'm gonna give it a... Probably a 7 out of 10. Um, way better than my Logitech keyboard, obviously. Got macros, got light, lit up, uh, these keys up here are awesome. Um, Obviously way better than my Asus uh, keyboard, you know, but I was really looking forward to mechanical keys because I just like mechanical keys, but it looks like these are going to have to do for now until I get a different keyboard, but I really like how it's section-wise, so I can put this red, this green, this blue, I can change all that here. I'll show you guys the uh, software that comes with it. Maybe. Software takes a second to open up. There we go. So, this is the software that comes with it. Uh, it's just, it's really nice. You can change the light options. Left-handed mouse change all the light options, it's really nice. So if I wanted to change this to uh, white, good, and then I'm gonna use my right mouse. And the sand turn to white in a second. Ta-da! If I wanted to turn it back to, uh, let's say, with orange. It's gonna turn 
orange. So I can do something really cool. I like this. So you can do, let's say, blue, red, green. That is the ugliest green I've ever seen. That's fine. And then, watch this. This is really cool. Oh. <laughs> But what sucks is that color doesn't change up there with it, so that's why I had it. Uh, I was gonna do all red and have it like matching up the sides, but it didn't work out too well because I didn't like that. There was just that one blue up there, so I'm gonna change this back to blue, change this back to blue, change this back to green, change it back to red. It, oh, I did not know that these changed down here too. But yeah, that's really awesome guys, I love this keyboard so much, it's honestly such an amazing keyboard. I, I'm speechless, and the only thing that I hate about it is the fact that it's not mechanical, I was really looking forward to a mechanical keyboard, but it's okay, I really like this keyboard still, I really like the programming that comes with it, it's just a really nice keyboard all around, but anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, Please leave a thumbs up or like. Like the video. Subscribe to see more. Comment to make me improve. And favorite if you really love the video. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been your boy DSR, and I'm out. Peace. Mmm.